All right, hi everybody. It's Bonkai922. I did that rant. Huh. I'll <laughs> yeah. Time to, it's time to push it all to the side. Kenichi. History strongest disciple. History strongest disciple Kenichi 513 everyone's limit. Um this chapter pretty much was, um, it, basically, what ended up happening in this chapter was the resurgence of Rimi, to an extent, to an extent. Now, I kind of understood what the technique was, and it was exactly what people were saying in the comment section. This is the same goddamn technique that Ryotu, when he was Odin, used on Kenichi. And that kind of paralyzed Kenichi. Kind of. Not really. You know, paralyzed him, supposedly, what someone was saying. This technique, what it basically does is it uses both Do and Say key. Now, I'm not going to show. Pretty much what ended up happening was he's telling Kenichi, Miyu, and Rimi all about this Ogata saying, and that's he calls it Saido Kurutsu. And here's the thing about you know Ryotu, Ryo, Ryotu, he's against it, yeah, he's against it. He is full, fully, what 100% against them learning this technique. Now, here's the thing about Ogata. He says, if another disciple showed up willing to improve their skills, I would teach him my techniques with no hesitation. This is the core concept of the equality in martial arts that I advocate. So he's basically saying, fuck everyone else. I'm going to teach you this technique. Regardless of the consequences. Like, <laughs> and the thing about it was, during when she got the technique and she activated it, um, Rimi, she was beating this shit kind of out of me. Miu had to try her hardest to, 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 you know, keep it together and fend off this a technique, and basically what she ended up doing was she used the dough key to harden her defenses, and she was able to, you know, pretty much what this means, pretty much what this means is simple. Someone's gonna die. That's what this chapter was basically telling us. Now, I'm gonna give this one... I want to give this four and a half. I really do. I'm trying, I'm, I'm, you know, I really want to give this four and a half. Because of the action and because of this altercation between Ogata and Ryuto. He was like, no, don't do this. Don't let her stop her. In fact, let me see if I can find that page. And apparently the pages on manga here is fucked up for some reason. And she's really sadistic looking, um, Rimi, when she's doing this. And the entire she's she's trying to destroy her and everything. And Rimi Miyu at one point during this time says, Is this the limit of Kansu Jinkin? Meaning in the end of this fight be decided by one of us dying. And that's when at the very end, Ryo Tu looks at Ogata and says, Kensei Sama, you can still stop her, Kensei Sama. Stop Atalante. Please stop her. And he's looking at him like, you are going to, you got to be go, you got to get out of here. 
Like, I am not stopping her. That is the eyes that Ogata gave Ryu to. Those were the eyes he was giving her. Yeah. Because the truth of the matter is, when this is all said and done, she's gonna die. And as simple as that. That, that. That's the way it looks. And you see, this fight would have been decided if Ogata wasn't there. Because, because of the fact that Rimi pleaded with him to give her this technique. You know, and actually, I think this should be the thumbnail. I think I'm going to do this as the thumbnail instead. You know, that thumbnail, well, he's giving that look to Ryotu. It's like, bitch, get the fuck out of the way. She's going through this. That's what it was like. And, you know, I'm like, if she dies, I think this will probably push Ryoto to leave Algada side. Because if she dies, I mean, you don't really look at it. If she dies, it's bad. If Miu dies, it's bad. Either way. But this was an interesting check to say the least. And I, like I said, I'm going to give this a four and a half out of five. Um, it was almost a five. Almost. Almost a five. But, you know, I just figured it's not there yet. I mean, this technique really pushed her. To, she was being very sadistic looking, attacking Miu and all sorts of shit. And the fact of the matter is, Rio Tuto knows what happens when you use this technique. He knows, because he used it himself. And we all see where he is now. He's in a wheelchair. So, and this is Rimi we're talking about. So, if the same thing happens, she may not get off easy like he did. She might die. <laughs> so, that's another thing to consider. But the overall, this is an interesting concept that's going on in this chapter and for next week. So, four and a half out of five. This was really good. And I gotta wonder what Ryoto is going to do if she does die. If she does die or she pushes her body to a point where it just falls. Because if that happens, I don't think he's going to stick around. Ryoto. Odin. Former Odin. I think he's going to say, Fuck you, Ogata. I'm getting the fuck out. You're no longer my sensei. I'm getting the fuck out. You're no longer my master. Because, I mean, the way he was in that page, when he's looking at him, you need to stop her. He's going, you know. That was his basic concept of mind uh, Ryoto when he was looking in oh, at Ogata. Ogata. So this is definitely interesting with turn of events. Um, I had a feeling this was going to happen from last week's. So yeah. But we'll have to see as we go further with, with Kenichi. But good chapter. Like what I saw. Um, unfortunately... Yusha isn't out yet, the episode, which I found very odd. So I, the review is not coming out yet. So, but I did this, so, you know, guys can watch it and stuff. But yeah, the, the thing is getting interesting, can you say the least. And I gotta wonder if Ogata oh is going to listen to Ryoto and Ryoto, Ryoto, I can't say that incorrectly, and go ahead and stop Rimi. Or he's just going to stand there like an idiot. Because I think this would be a perfect opportunity for, you know, Ayato. You know, Mr. Fuin, you know, uh, his grandfather. Superman Fuinji to show up and maybe like something happens in there. But overall, that's the story. This was a good chapter. 
shit going down. Mimi's psychotic now, and she looks like she's on the path to destruction. Yeah, I'm calling it. I don't know if she'll die next week, but she's on a one-way path to hell. She's she's going to... The only choice... The, for her, if she doesn't stop, oh, she's going to die. Because her body's going to be wrecked. So... Yeah. But... Good chapter of Kenichi. A great chapter of Medic Box. So, yeah. And that's all I got for you guys. So, yeah. Four and a half out of five. This was a great chapter of Kenichi. I really enjoyed it. Um, tell me what you guys think. Comments below. Do you think... Ogata is going to stop? Give me, or you think he's just going to stand like an idiot and let her die? Let her go down this path of self-destruction with this technique. Because literally what happens is the Sei and the Do Ki combine and explode inside of your body. It, and that was the explanation. The one key goes outside of your body while the, the inside of your body has another key colliding each other. And that's what happens. That's what happened to o Odin. He, he did the same thing. And he was, you know? So this is definitely shit going down here. So can't wait for next week. Awesome chapter. Tell me what you guys think. This has been Bonkai 922. I'll see you guys later. Oh, got it. This guy went from normal master to evil son of a bitch.